Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Laughix. Got another video for you guys today. I got this one. We don't do them a whole lot, but we got all in one desktops here. We got this one. It looks like it's a newer HP by looking at the Intel Core there. Probably like a 10th, 11th gen, maybe newer, right? Um, and it's in here because every time the customer tries to use, to plug it in, they always just get these beeping codes and for some reason just really annoying them. And obviously they can't boot to it because it gives beep codes every single time. So we're, let's go ahead and actually take a look at it, see what's going on here. So we got this, uh, got pretty much like a universal adapter here. It's, uh, I think it's a 90 watt. Yeah, it's a 96 watt, so 96 watt adapter. And we got this barrel tip here, so it should fit in fine, right? Let's go ahead and plug it in. And let's plug it up. I can show you guys the back here because you actually can see a light that comes up there so it looks like it's recognizing right so took a look at here you see that light actually does come on now we're gonna press the power button see what happens Okay, so and it will keep doing that over and over again the customer said they replaced their uh, adapter a few times and they're still getting the same type of problem every single time um, so it looks like what's going on right we have uh, error codes so that's good um, error codes usually they will tell you if there's like a board problem or if there is something else going on with them that's usually the case when you hear an error code usually especially for like a, a desktop laptop or especially if it's after it's been dropped maybe it says motherboard issue maybe there's a ram problem it's usually a ram problem that's usually what we see there but you can go ahead and usually look up the error codes for this one so I found something about this one that's a little bit interesting so uh, this one obviously it's not a genuine charger but that shouldn't really matter right so we have another one over here let's just check out the charger maybe it doesn't have enough wattage so we have one that's about 240 watts this is a Dell charger, but it has the same type of barrel connector here. And uh, let's see if that's going to go ahead and work, right? So I'm going to go ahead and plug this one in. And we get the light again. And I'm going to try to turn it on. Light comes up on there. There's no display. But you get the same beeps over and over again. So it does, it does look like that there is a problem, maybe probably more with the power supply or motherboard. Right, so I looked into it and I found out something that's very, very interesting on this one. So now I'm gonna go over to my screen capture here. So I just wanna go ahead and at least take a look at it to make sure they're getting enough wattage and everything. But obviously we try like 200 watts. So I was like, oh, it shouldn't really matter, right? Cause the Dell ones and HP ones are usually pretty compatible. If you, especially if you have an older laptop, um, you'll see the barrel connectors. They're pretty much compatible either way. So let's, we're gonna go scroll down here. And I see, I'm looking out here. We actually do see there's a part number exact part number for this um, specific desktop and we see it's a 65 watt adapter that requires but we see something really interesting after that that makes me really curious and it says npfc smart 3p so what this actually is is in your adapter there's actually a smart pin uh, that's part of this adapter even though this is just a regular barrel connector here this one it looks like that this does require a special type of adapter and most likely it's going to be like a hp one genuine one that you want to get you always want to make sure that you try to get the same exact one try to get always get oem that you possibly can but sometimes it's not maybe plausible or some stores maybe don't carry them right so uh, we understand that that's why a customer will buy a certain one or maybe they just don't want to get an hp one maybe it's a little bit cheaper maybe it's you know it's only 65 watt power adapter it's for an all-in-one desktop maybe they don't want to spend a whole lot of money especially this is an older i mean good but this is an i3 anyway so uh, what we're probably thinking is, right, probably needs an HP adapter, that's what it looks like, but there's that extra piece of it that looks like there's like a smart pin or something going on there. And that requires you pretty much to get, it seems like, right, a regular AC adapter. So, I actually just pulled one back here. I bought, I got this one from like HP Omen, and this one actually has like a blue tip, so this is like a 200 watt, it's from like HP Omen. It actually has one of those blue tip ones, right, but I, I'm converting it over to... A barrel connector here that plugs into here but it's original hp obviously it has the hp logo on it and stuff too um but let's go ahead and try it now let's go <laughs> let's go ahead and see if it works so i'm gonna go ahead and plug this in still get the same light uh, i think it should work now right let's turn it on oh it's in the back here again i just forget uh, and voila it actually turns on, there's no more beep or no more error codes, right? 
So, what do you guys think, huh? There's a nice monkey here. Ooh, that's actually really cool. This looks very nice. Okay, so it looks like for this one that you do need a specific genuine um, HP a charger that has the smart pin technology in it. Why do they really need to do this? Is it very necessary for them to do something like this? This beep code, I'm sure you can go ahead and look up the manual. It's probably there. It's probably pretty obvious if you go ahead and look that up, but it shouldn't be up to the user to do that, or they shouldn't have to contact HP to fix an issue like this, or especially if you get a barrel connector that shows the light in the back there, that is not going to go ahead and turn on the device. And these ones, again, these don't even have a battery in it, so it's not charging a battery like the Dell ones, or at least charging a battery and providing power this one is just providing power so it's not doing anything and if you actually look at it it's a 65 watt adapter in this one so the board is probably more like a laptop board size board or something and uh, especially if we open this up then the rest of it just like a, a screen and that's probably that's why there's a bezel around there so interesting what do you guys think i'm really interested to see what you guys think about having to use a proprietary uh, hp or charger just to power up your desktop or 65 watts i don't know so what do you guys think? Let me know down below. See you guys next video. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.